Uh, welcome back everyone. Uh, today I just thought I'd uh, come out and show you uh, my veggie chart that I'm going to be referencing to when I do my plant my veggies and what plants love nitrogen. Had a bit of a tidy down on the patio, washed down the water tank, hoping to get some rain, but we never got it. So I've pinned this up here. Well, not literally pinned it, I've taped it up here. And it's a good reference chart because I can just walk out the back door Look at my chart if I want to plant something or see if anything needs any nitrogen, coffee grounds or, you know, chicken fertilizer or something. I can quickly reference on that before I head actually out into the garden. So I'll give you a bit more of a close up on that. OK, so this area here is just for your garden beds, a bit of rest re rejuvenation. Uh, so you can plant in some broad beans, which I've planted some already. You've got your climbing beans and your peas. I've got snow peas in and yeah I've got my compost bin so this is kind of like a bit of a rejuvenation in your garden bed just to draw some more nitrogen from the air into the soil and let it rest and then you can uh, plant in that the next season. So also what I've got here is I've bought some broccoli seedlings. I've got some Brussels sprouts that I planted from seed so hopefully they are uh, Right, I've uh, got some cabbage seedlings in and what else? Okay, so I've got leeks in, I've got lettuce growing and down the bottom here I've got spinach. So that's all nitrogen loving plants, which I really love how that they, can, they let you know that on this chart. So I think it's really good. And so just up here we have plants that just have mo uh, nitrogen in moderation. So we've got, uh, I've got capsicum, I've got that growing, I've got chilies in, I've got more corn growing, uh, I've got a pumpkin growing, oh, yes, I've got zucchinis growing and I've got a tomato bush growing. And then this last section is nitrogen is not helpful, so don't put any... Uh, nitrogen on these plants. So I've got beetroot. I've got some carrots growing which have popped up from seed. Uh, my garlic I'll put in mid-May and I've got spring onions and leeks and that but I've got potatoes they're growing, radishes are growing and yeah that's about it on my list. So I ended up buying another little round or little oval shaped round garden bed and in here I've got my, I've got four broad beans and also I do have another capsicum just here. So that's just, uh, I wanted to get some broad beans in uh, for our season. And then across here we've got, um, my capsicum plant has just gone crazy. It's just, it is getting eaten. I did find some teeny tiny little snails on it. But also, like you can just see, just got some lovely capsicums growing on it. it. Seems to be really healthy. It's just really gone, um, gone to town. This one, and uh, hopefully, and then just behind it, I don't know if you can see it really. There's another plant that's come up here. I'm not sure if that's a, a chili or a capsicum. I used to have a chilies growing in there, so it might have been from seed. And then just in the back, there's just some leeks and a few snow peas and that. And this one here is my tomato bush. Um, it's actually got quite a few. That's probably the biggest tomato I've ever grown on that. Um, and there's a few more in there. I did put a tomato uh, cage up there. Hopefully it holds it up and it's got enough airflow in there. But um, it's getting a little bit sort of top heavy. And just here's my zinnia. I thought I'd put a little bit of a frame up for it because it was a, looks like it's going to be a quite a tall one. But it's still got the beautiful striking pink flowers. And that's been flowering for, a, oh, I think, about a good month now. Just that one particular flower. But I do have some more buds that are going to be, should be opening up soon. And uh, so it's absolutely beautiful. It loves that spot there. And this is the first time I've ever grown carrot from seed. So I just sprinkled a heap of carrot seeds in there. And now they've all come up. So I guess I'm going to have to go through at some point and thin those out just to allow uh, the others to sort of have enough room to grow and uh, get big. So I'll get around to doing that. I'll put that on my list. 
And so this little garden bed's doing really well as, as well. So I've got all our lovely lettuce there. That's all coming along nicely. It hasn't bolted in the hot weather. And I've got my some beans there, little, little small climbing beans there. I don't think they need a, a bit of a stake at the moment. I have grown them before and I didn't need to stake them up. And um, here's my cosmos I planted there from seed that's come up. And then I've got my capsicums here. Um, these ones are, yeah, had a bit of a struggle with these ones just recently. I don't know, something's been attacking it. I've had to pull so many off the other day. Uh, just set that one side of it just gets, um, it kind of gets a bit like this, even though this is a chili, the same thing was happening on the capsicums here. So it's almost like, I don't know, the skin's either been eaten off of it. Um, but I had to pull those off of my capsicums there and just chuck those in the compost. Not really sure why it has done that. But um, the rest of the chilies are fine. I did, did that for about three or four chilies and had to throw half a dozen capsicums out as well. So hopefully it's, um, yeah, it's not going to do that to everyone on there. And then also here, I just, my corn is coming along really nicely. It's getting quite tall and, yep, should get another corn crop before the end of the season's out. And if you can look in here closely as well, um, I've got some more carrot seeds in there that have all popped up. So, yep, I'm going to have to thin those ones out. And I've just dotted around, just put a few more lettuce in, in between as well. And then just over here, just got a couple of extra bean plants and also my spring onions. I planted those individually in there just to see how they grow if they had their own little spot to themselves. Compost bin, my Dalek. So I'm just going to give it another drink of water and I'm going to let that one just then start breaking completely all the way down. I won't put anything else in there and I'll just keep, I'll start chopping up this one here. I've already added bits and pieces in there so I'll get that one underway. And just under this pest free shorty which I moved from over the other side of the yard, um, I've just got some, they are broccolinis in these two pots here and also just a few more beans have uh, been excess that I put into this pot here. And over the back here, my poor blueberry bush uh, just got scorched by the sun. And uh, yeah, it's, um, I went to the garden centre and spoke to them about it. And they said, yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty harsh couple of days we had with also the hot winds that come through and it's just really burnt the leaves. So just putting a, like a liquid seaweed solution on it um, and just let that sort of recover by itself. And hopefully it does so I can get some lovely blueberries uh, this year. And just down in here I have just, um, these ones here are my radishes. I planted some radishes in pots and that and um, they've seemed to be thriving. And then a couple of punnets down there. I just put some more yellow capsicums in there, which I actually bought bought some before, but then I've kept the containers and the tags, and I've got my own seeds. Uh, so it doesn't matter where about you are in the world, um, you can still see what plants love nitrogen, what don't, what like it in moderation. So a very very handy to, piece of um, information to have. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. And I shall see you in the next one. Okay, bye for now.